hundred years. They believed it for thousands of years. But then finally, after 40 and two generations, Christ came down. was manifest. Yeah. What's your declaration tonight? What's your declaration? What will you speak concerning your saying? And we believe, I don't know why, but we believe that all things were to know the devil is alive. The text says, and we know. And we know. Unsaved people don't like it when I say this, but it's the truth. I do not merely believe. I've lived long enough to know. That's right. Wow. I know. So then when Jesus now responds to her declaration, Jesus who ignored her at first, Jesus who then rejected her second, when he now hears her declaration, he does not merely hear words, but he hears faith in the words. Because the worlds were framed by the words of God, and all she did was take his words and give them back to heaven. And so he recognized those words, recognized her, tra her trust in those words, and he said, oh. Oh okay. o comes from a Greek word that means oh, really, it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh, gune, oh, woman. He says, mega suspicious. Great is your faith. Great is your faith. And response says this, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. Mm. Now initially, I wasn't even willing to do it, because it wasn't my assignment. Mm -hmm. But your faith has put you in a position mm. such that everything will align according to your will. Mm. Wow. Man. Because she had the ability to take a word and to utilize it in a way that would actually speak to her situation. And so Jesus who says, this ain't what I came here to do, all of a sudden because of faith, I said all of a sudden because of faith, things that were impossible now became because nothing is impossible to them that and so a woman that comes from a neighborhood that doesn't have a whole lot of notoriety, who comes from a family lineage that is not impressive, and who has a daughter, even her future now looks dismal, she's able to come to Jesus, and because she has faith, Jesus can turn the whole situation. Yes. Amen. Amen. What's your declaration tonight? Mm -hmm. What are you expecting God to turn around? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. The Bible then declares, and her daughter was made whole from that very wow. hour. Wow. At that instant, at that time period, all of a sudden, everything that was troubling her had now been turned around because she dared to believe. Is it no wonder that if the enemy is trying to attack our belief, Amen. trying to attack the word of yes. God, trying to attack everything yes. that we're trying to stand on, because yes. he knows yes. that if the believers ever really believed, we'd have the power to turn everything. Yes. So I know it's anniversary time. I know it's yes. coming. But what, what we really need is we need believers to stand up. Yes. Right. And to say enough is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need, because really, what this was, this was about spiritual warfare. That's right. This was about the enemy trying to overtake her family. Mm -hmm. This was about the enemy trying to overtake her community. And she says, "You know, I'm not having it anymore." Yeah. Some of us that are gathered here tonight, we have the testimony of being saved and the power of God working in our lives, and yet we have family members. Oh. Right? Right, that are still in need of the power of God and the enemy has made yes. them entrapped and ensnared. You know because you talk to them as it goes in one ear out the other. You know because you see that barrier, that force field that's stopping them. Their eyes are blinded. Their ears have become deaf to it. Their heart has become hardened to it. And it seems like there's no way that you'll ever get through. But tonight I want to help you to understand it's not about an emotional plea. It's not about enough damage stuff happening so suddenly the dead man comes to life. No, no. It's about the power of Jesus and the power of his name. And that if you will pray and believe and declare that the power
person that did not believe all of a sudden will begin to have their eyes open. God can cause godly sorrow. He can cause conviction to rest upon their heart. And they'll come running and saying, what must I do to be saved? I'm trying to tell you that deliverance is possible. I'm trying to tell you that Jesus still saves from the uttermost to the uttermost. You can't be down so low. Yeah. <laughs> 